Hello, welcome back to this. Um, Usually it's not nearly so flexible. Um, okay. Dimitri! Enough! We have a customer! And not a month too soon! Oh yeah! I love her! And I love! Oh. Let's for the Queen Bean Coffee House. Okay. Uh, okay. What can I get for you today? This guy have to say. I didn't really offer a free sale. Just stay there. Pretty useful. Okay. Um. Just so sweet for visiting me all the time, sugar. This is, I think this is like my second or third visit. Yeah, I made you this cookie. It's got all manner of nonsense going on. Nuts, chia seeds, a small wedge of pineapple. I call them my lucky cookies. Okay, thank so you. Show some love. Thank you. As always, let me know if you see something you like. <laughs> Okay, we'll be back. Um, do I have like an inventory or something? I'll go over here to this dude. You peek, you peek down the alley to see if Mystic's tent is there. Sure enough, it is. Mystic's already sitting at his crystal ball in his wizard robe, reading his cell phone. You walk up quietly and, and he reaches up for a cup of coffee. Hey. Welcome back. Hello. All right. Today's fortune will cost you a whopping three dollars. I'll be free if I have four. Two hundred. Not too expensive, right? Yeah. We're still in reasonable territory. Yep. So, what do you say? Shall we make some magic? Not right. yes, but not in a sexual way. Let's do it. I like women. Mystic waves his arms dramatically over the crystal ball. A moment later, it begins to glow, and so do his eyes. When he speaks, his voice is deeper and more commanding. Cassie's first yes. secret yes. may make your head twirl. Ask the hard question. Do you even lift, girl? <sighs> Jesus. The crystal ball stops stops glowing, and Mystic takes a sip of his coffee. Alright, there you go. Good luck. Okay, I'm not really going after Cassie. After the whole incident in the first part, I think the first or second part. You try, to, you try to commit the fortune to memory, and leave Mystic to his coffee. Okay. So I guess I... I have to go here. How is there a bell sound to go to the beach? 
Driving by the beach is not a group of people searching the sand with metal detectors. Stopping your car and hopping out, you see a foldable sign that says Sabrosa De Detectorist Society. What do you do? Drown. You take a stroll among the detectorist and detectorists observing their ways. Before deciding this is probably the most boring hobby in existence, you ha and head back to your car. Not really sure how to, how, to, how you spent a couple of hours staring at sand with and metal detectors, but you, but you make a note that it's better that it's better use of your time and head out. Okay, July fourth afternoon. Yeah, I'm going to the arcade, play some Street Fighter or something. Dropping by the dropping by the arcade, you do a quick search around, but don't see anyone you recognize. They have Street Fighter 6. I mean, this is a game, but I guess I should be asking if they have any Street Fighter, Street Fighter in general. You decide your best course of action is to get your arcade on. What do you do? Uh, finally managed to to defeat the greater boss and, tr and transform turtles in time. Great work. You, t you take your hit, your hard-earned ga gamer knowledge, t tip your hat to the arcade cabinet, and continue on with your day. Okay, oh, it's already the evening. Oh, oh these do. What does Eli have to say? busy as usual. Even as the evening grows, it's late. Or even as the evening grows late, what are they trying to say? Uh, there's, there's a constant barrage of people coming and going. Some are running, some are on scooters or bikes. There's one guy on a unicycle. I kind of want to learn how to ride a unicycle. Damn, I'm out of water. You decide to sit down and People watch for a little while. The sound of, ba of a basketball game in a nearby public court catches your attention, and you decide to, to get closer and watch. There's a guy and a girl playing, but from what you can see, the girl is taking the game much more seriously than the guy. And Kel be fakes like <laughs> his guard completely unsure what to make of him. Okay. Did you shut up and just play? Okay. His guard tries psychological warfare, but little does she know, he doesn't know what those words mean. <laughs> he alley-oops and... What? Having quite a high uh, advantage, the boy faints and, and, stinks, and sinks three points from the half-court. Woo, yeah! He scores! Damn it! The girl walks off the court. She's she's sweating profusely, and you you can see through her clothes that she's ripped. God freaking damn it! Whoa whoa whoa! It's okay, Lil. That game was super close. Shut up! I don't need you treating me like your baby girl or some BS. It's all right to swear. I'm used to it at this point. The girl sits down and breathes out a whisper. It of curse words in a foreign language. Kelby seems unsure of what to do. Uh, look at this one. Kelby notices you're signaling in to him, and for some reason he does it does exactly what you said. 
He nods, sits down, and sits down beside the girl. Lil, you're awesome. Don't take it so hard. You don't understand at all, Kelby. This is the same bullshit that follows me around. Personal life, professional life, everything. You're just a little girl, Lil. You ain't got game. No, that's not true. You're genuinely scary in the MMA ring. I still have a bruise from our last battle. Well, it doesn't look up. No, I genuinely fear for my life every time I hold the bag for you. And your abs are just mwah, work of art. Okay, but was that really necessary? So don't get too sad when an awkwardly tall boy is better at shooting hoops. Fine. But tomorrow you're stepping in the room with me so I can work some feelings out. Oh dear God. Come on, let's play one more set. Heck yeah! Two of them continue playing, and you slip and you slip away before either of them think you think to ask you what, why you were watching them. Okay. Okay. The only option is to go home, I guess. You arrive at home at that evening completely wiped out. It isn't until you reach the front door that you get a sudden feeling of dread. Please say you have some sort of weaponry, at least like a spoon or something. You step inside and shut the door. You pause, frozen by the eerie feeling. Suddenly there's a loud knock behind you. A voice yells from outside. This is the police! Detective Fumi, <laughs> SPD. Open up. What did I do? I, I never did anything illegal, I promise. You spin around and, and spot, and you spin around on the spot and quickly answer the front door. Good. If you had taken three more seconds, I was getting the battering ram. I don't think that was really necessary, but okay. Listen closely. I've got a dead body and evidence linking the victim to you. I, I, what? I don't do anything illegal. I, I go to the solar place, work there, get my $55 an hour, and then come back home. I, I, I never went to the uh, anything. I never did anything illegal. I never went to the alleyway. I never sold any marijuana. You can go to you can go to Ray and uh, whatever her name is Todd's parents. Go to... I'm... Please, just... There's a marijuana farm just down the road. An illegal one at that. You're coming with me. I'm not letting you out of my sight until I get answers. Okay, I, I have nothing to hide, man. I, I, can I at least get some water first? Can I please at least just get some water? I'll leave the door open so you can wash me, but still, just let me get some water from the sink. Fumi talks, to, takes you downtown and to confirm the dead girl's identity and the failure of your quest. A thousand questions run through your mind. Who is the girl? Who did, who did, what did you miss? Why is this happening? Only when you find out, is the only way you to find out is to play the full version. Oh, I was wondering when this game was like, like how it was going to end. But wow, now I actually kind of want to get the full version. Oh. There we go then. Um, is this like twenty bucks on Steam or something? By the way, I'm. I don't have enough money. I only have like five bucks. Maybe if it's on sale for that for about that much. So uh, yeah, uh, uh, I'll be right back so, and get some water. All right, I'm back with some water. Uh, so I know this is only adding to a demo, but I'm still going to toast. So it's okay since, you know, I missed out on several other 
posts at the ending of at the endings of games. So here is to when I eventually play the full game and when I we eventually find out if we actually did it. Here's to that. So, um, yeah, I, should, I really do think I might end up getting the full game because, like, it's, this was a genuinely fun experience. And so, yeah, uh, I'm going to. End this video here. Have an absolutely amazing day.